Hello guys, hope you are doing great. I am Sampath. Today I am going to show you overview about Apollo.io premium subscription, how the data looks like, how we can collect our targeted data effectively on Apollo.io subscription. So I'm going to show you everything before going to that. If you are looking for any kind of B2B data, like B2B verified and fresh data based on targeted industry, location, job role, or employee size, you can reach out to me. And you, you are also looking for investors information or like targeted investors or like targeted VCs or local business data or like social media influencers information based on targeted niche or targeted followers or targeted location or Instagram public email scrapping along with email IDs and uh, mobile numbers, public ones. So if you are looking for any kind of B2B data services, you can contact me. I'm mentioning my contact details in the video description box. You can directly contact me through WhatsApp or other social media accounts. Let us jump into the Apollo.io. So Apollo.io, they are saying they are having a 250K data, like a 268 million data. So yes, we can have a chance to see all the data, but we don't know how much data exactly on Apollo.io. So these people are saying they are having 268 million data. So if you can see here all the filters, right? If you can see here total set of data, new set of data and saved data. See, we can have a chance to see all the filters. So in these filters here, we can have a chance to see email status. So if we can click here, verified ones, then we can have a chance to see only good data. So I'm clicking this one. So if we can click verified data, so then now we can have a chance to see uh, 73 million data. Earlier it was 250K, 250 million data. Now it is saying 73 million good data in this tool having. So 73 million is also a very uh, big data actually. So now if you can see here, we can see all the 73 million data, but we can't have a chance to see all the data at once. Uh, we have a credits limit based on the, our credit limit. We can have a chance to collect data. See here, total data means like how much total data these people are having and the new set means. So every data will go to here. We need to save our data here only. So once we save the data, then our data will go to the saved list. Then we need to download the data. So first I'm going to search my targeted people. Suppose, for example, I need some people based on my target. Okay. Suppose uh, you are looking for some data. Okay. Uh, what we need to do is so here first you can select location. So here we can select our contact location and headquarters location also. Suppose, for example, here I'm just selecting here United States. And make sure I need contacts from uh, United States com company location only. So United States companies only. Like, I don't want uh, uh, that companies from uh, like Canada or any other countries. I just need uh, United States companies. In this case, here we need to select. Here also we need to select our country. So now we can have a chance to see all the data from United States only and companies also from United States. Okay, so next thing here, we can have a chance to see a lot of uh, filters here. See, it will take a few seconds time because here there is a huge data, right? That's why it will take few seconds time, but it won't take more than few seconds. Now we can have a chance to see 27 million data. So based on our target. Now we need particularly some industry people. Suppose, for example, uh, here we can see industry, industry and people. Uh, for example, if I need only IT industries, IT industry companies. So here, if we can click here, we can have a chance to see industry keyword. So now what I'm selecting here is information technology and services. Okay. So now we can have a chance to see 
some more data like uh, data will decrease actually so more more selections data will decrease so here now based on our targeted industry we have 3 million data so now we are going to job roles so we need only decision makers okay job title we need only CEOs, for example. CEO. Okay. We need only CEOs. So if we click only CEOs, see again here our data will uh, uh, count with data count will decrease. It is loading actually. It is loading, and uh, after that, uh, it will show how much more results are. See, now here we have selected few few targets, okay? So, you have selected here our targeted location, our targeted country, and our targeted job role. Okay, now we have 43K data, CEOs. I need only small companies' data, employee age. Okay, for example, I need only small company, like 1 to 10 employee size companies. So here we can select one to 10 company employee sales. So once we select, we can have a chance to see here the count, exact count based on all criteria. Now we have 19.3K data. See, we have more filters actually here. So up to this one, see we have industry filter, we have email status filter, and we have a employee size filter, and we have a location filter, and we have job titles filter. So we can use all these uh, filters by collecting our targeted data. See, not only this. So here we have more of uh, more fields also like that. So how what type of more fields is? See industry, right? See here in this industry section, we have a keyword. So we can use tech. So we can use our targeted keyword companies also. For example, I just entered tech. So we'll see how many results we will get. See, once I entered the tech keyword, then our count will decrease because we want only specific targets. So if we are targeting like this, then our data count will decrease actually. See, it is loading. It's hardly take a few seconds. Okay, so tech comments like all these companies are tech companies. So that's why we are able to see all the companies now. Okay, so now what we need to do is we have our targeted set of data. So what we need to do is we need to go to new set. Okay, so once we go to the new set, we have to select here, here like this. See, we can select all thousand at a time or we can select each page at a time. So for example, I need only this page information, okay? I'm just selecting all and clicking save. So once I click save, then data will go to saved list. See, adding new contact, see one contact means one lead. One, one contact acting means one email credit will be expired. See, now we have data here. We have only, we saved 25 list, but uh, here we are able to see only nine. So for this, what we need to do is, we need to remove this verified, verified option. So at the starting, we have, uh, like selected this one, now we have to remove this one. So once we remove, we can have a chance to see there our, our targeted uh, saved ones. See, now, as I said, this data having, you know, we can't say all this data also verified. So better we can recheck once through email verification tools. So I do re-verify all this data once again. So after re-verification only, I use this data effectively. So I provide this data to my clients also. 
see it is loading actually uh the problem might be my system also that's why it is loading this much time this is not the problem uh of tool this might be problem of my system fastness also so now we have 37 so we can click here all our selected ones 37 so we can click export data so we can click export data once we click export data so we can click here export we need to click this once we click this then data will be automatically download so once this do after downloading this data see we can have a chance to see like this see we will get all this data on on excel sheet see we can have a chance to see full name first name last name first name last name title company name email and email status and uh, designation and all see company phone number we have a chance to see and uh, we have a chance to see industries and industry keywords also uh like we can see here uh social media accounts of that company so we can see here company location also contact location and company location and we can see here company number also see all this data we will get once we download see better to re-verify through email verification tool this data also like don't use this data also directly better once recheck and use re, uh, before using this data so better to re-verify this data so normally i do this thing like better to also do this thing so these are the uh, not only this we can have a chance to uh, more segregate like uh, suppose this industry keyword right so as i said we can target particular uh, particular keyword based companies also then we can target we can exclude also here locations here we are including right we are exclude also we can have a chance to exclude see we can job titles right we can have a chance to collect data by management level role and uh, position position level also see here if you can see here management level department level also we can have a chance to collect the data see this is the up overview about apollo.io so easy to use this uh apollo.io very easy to use if you subscribe then definitely very easy to use and uh, we won't get uh sometimes we won't get exact data on linkedin sales navigator also but here we will get it so this is all about uh, apollo.io so as i said if you are looking for any kind of b2b data so you can contact me i mentioned my contact details in the video description box so thank you for watching this video. So please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.